All right, this time around the question comes from Samuel through email. Thank you, Samuel. And the question is, how do I deal with negative people? It seems like the more that I grow and the more that I want to grow, the more certain people have a problem with me and point out my flaws. First of all, I want you to know that it's not such a bad thing when people who are acting the way you used to act are puzzled by what you're doing now. For one thing, it means that you're changing and changing and growth is what you want. And let me make this very clear. We are here to respect everybody, but it doesn't mean that we have to get along with everybody. I don't know how to say this any more clearly, so I'm just going to say it over and over again. Love does not mean putting up with stuff that hurts. Love does not mean putting up with stuff that hurts. And living a life of peace, love, and respect sometimes means, you know what, I am not going to put up with behavior X. It's okay that we're all on different uh, levels of growth. It's okay that we're all working on different things. Nobody knows everything. And it's okay if you don't know everything. It's okay if they don't. It's okay if you guys have different ideas about things. All we want is growth. The goal is growth. And let me be very clear about this. Jerks don't need your help being jerks. You know what I mean when I say that? Yeah, of course there are people in your life who you just plain old don't get. Why do you do this? Why are you treating me this way? Why do you talk this way? And so on. But somebody being a jerk is not going to be encouraged to be less of a jerk by you calling them a jerk. The labels that you give things form the limitation of what they will be to you. You know what I mean? When I call you a name, I put you in a cubbyhole and what I say is that is the most you're ever going to be to me. And that means what I'm really doing is losing out on my opportunity to learn from you. Your paradigm, your intention is the limit of your experience. And so when I label you, I limit you and ultimately I limit myself. What we want is to find a way to grow together. And as I've said many, many, many times. What we are here to do with other people is to learn from them and to teach them something. So what if instead of calling that person a jerk and thus limiting the educational opportunity and thus keeping them in my life forever, what if I say, you know what, you're here to teach me something. And I want you to know that that person who you don't get, that person who doesn't get you, that person who feels like a negative influence in your life is here to teach you something. And the moment you take that label away and you give them a new title of teacher, something amazing happens. Now listen, that doesn't mean you have to sit in negative behavior. It doesn't mean you have to put up with criticism. It doesn't mean you have to deal with dysfunction. Because sometimes what people are here to teach you is what not to do. Sometimes people are here to teach you what you're willing to put up with before you move on into something healthier. All of that is valid. But it begins by taking the label away. It is absolutely the case that sometimes we don't understand one another and we come from an emotional place. If you've ever been around a little kid and you have to correct them, discipline them, sometimes the kid will say, you don't like me. And a good kindergarten teacher knows how to say, no, honey, I love you. I just don't love your behavior. I'm not going to be treated that way. We're not going to do this. This isn't how we play with each other. Let's get good at separating the person from the behavior. Let's get good at moving into a paradigm where we were, we're here to learn and we're here to teach. And the thing is, the universe takes care of its own. Let me put that another way. Being a jerk is punishment in and of itself. If I act like a jerk, I get a jerk experience. The universe's equilibrium takes care of punishing me. And that's great news because it means that you don't have to punish somebody for being a jerk. You don't want to be the judge, jury, and executioner anyway because... All you really get back from life is what you put into it. And if you put in judgment, criticism, punishment, you're going to get that kind of an experience. And it's nothing that you want. You know that and I know that. So what if you say, look, we're all on the same page. The choices I make don't really have as much power over you as they do over me. And so I choose to love. And that begins by finding common ground. I mean, we're all working on the same stuff. Let me be very clear about this. That person who's bugging you, you have something in common with them or they wouldn't be bugging you so much. Find it. And you can begin to unlock the opportunity to grow. 
Maybe it's it's something very, very specific. Maybe you have to start with big, big generic things like everybody wants to find love. Everybody wants to avoid suffering. Everybody wants to grow and be happy. Hey, start with what you got. But I bet you can figure out something more specific about that person in particular. Start from that common ground and say, okay, well, what are we here to work on together? And as you begin to take down the labels and take down the walls, you'll find new opportunities for unity. And look, it may be that you're there to evolve together. It may be that your relationship goes into a new direction and you find loving ways to deal with each other. And it may be that the lesson here is, it's time for me to go. It's time for you to go. That is all completely valid as long as you grow. If you come from a place where the label that I give you is teacher, you unlock something indestructible in yourself. And you unlock something beyond negativity and criticism because you unlock love. And that's where it all starts. Thank you for starting this with me. Thank you for sending me these amazing questions. Thank you for subscribing to the videos. That's key to everything. And thank you so much for sharing them. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of each other.